a major announcement made regarding the advancement of health care in the Bahamas, political fever rising in the country as the date for nomination day has been set. The Christian Council calling the nation to its knees as Holy Week is observed. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shashina Roll. As always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news, a major announcement coming today in the advancement of health care in the country. Another phase of the National Health Insurance Plan, NHI, is about to be implemented throughout the Bahamas. In a press release issued, officials say following the success of round one of provider registration, the NHI Secretariat is launching phase two of NHI Bahamas enrollment on April 24th. Now, during the enrollment phase, Bahamians will select their primary care physician including family medicine practitioners, general practitioners, internists, OBGYNs, and pediatricians. Enrollment will be followed rather shortly after by Phase 3 of NHI Bahamas Primary Care Services. In order to enroll, persons will need the following, an NAIB smart card, be a Bahamian citizen or legal resident, and proof of residency in the Bahamas for the last six months. Now, this includes a utility bill in your name, lease agreement, or job letter. The release further states that persons who have private insurance will also need to provide their insurance policy along with group and member ID number. However, persons who do not have private insurance can still enroll in NHI Bahamas. The Secretariat strongly urges Bahamians to enroll in NHI Bahamas online at www.nhibahamas.gov.bs. Persons will also have the option of enrolling in person at the nearest enrollment center beginning April 24th. And also breaking today, after three weeks, the ban on imported beef and beef byproducts into the Bahamas from Brazil has been lifted. The announcement coming from the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources today in the nation's capital. However, officials say the ministry will remain vigilant regarding all food items imported in the Bahamas and will apply the normal protocols to ensure the safety of all consumers within our borders. In other news, next week, Thursday, is Nomination Day. The Assistant Commissioner of Parliamentary, Reno Smith, gives us some insight on what this means. The next major event on the political calendar is Nomination Day, set for April 20th. Assistant Parliamentary Commissioner Reno Smith explained the process and what takes place during that time. On that day, candidates who would have received the nomination from their uh, respective political organizations will present themselves and their credentials to the uh, re returning officers, respective returning officers, along with their fees, and um, they most likely will be accompanied by some of the voters from their respective constituencies to cheer them on and encourage them. While the general election is scheduled for May 10th, there has been no word yet on when the advance poll is scheduled to take place. Officials say that date is expected to be announced sometime this week. Smith outlined who is eligible to vote prior to the general election. Persons who would be traveling uh, prior to the election or whose travel will include the date of election, they are advised to come and select a form K, fill that out for us. Uh, you would bring your voter's card, your travel ticket passport to confirm that you're voting on, I'm um, sorry, traveling on a particular time so that you'd be able to vote in the advance poll. Additionally, persons who are expected to be admitted to hospital for medical procedures, what have you, they uh, would also be required to fill out the form K uh, along with a doctor's um, letter or something verifying that they're expected to be hospitalized during that time. Military persons, police officers, parliamentary employees, or persons working the polls are also eligible to vote ahead of schedule. So we're saying to all political parties, what have you, if you wish for your poll workers to participate in um, the advance voting, 
You're also required to write the parliamentary commissioner, Mr. Sherlin Hall. You can UFS it through this office here in Freeport. We'll make sure it's forwarded on to Nassau so that those names can be included um, in the advance poll. We made recommendation. We don't know if it will be adhered to that reporters, members of the press, be allowed to uh, vote in the advance poll also because you're expected to uh, cover the stories. And so some of you, we would hope that they would allow to uh, register as well. Election fever is in the air as Election Day has been announced and political parties prepare to shift into high gear in a lead up to the general election that is set for Wednesday, May 10th. Now, just before this Easter week, a major party held their first mass rally here around Grand Bahama. Those attending weighed in on that event. Sean Davis Roll reports. And I was like, wow, where are these people coming from? Many say they were in shock to see the PLP support base that stretched from East End to West End as scores of residents turned out for the massive PLP rally held on Grand Bahama. Those attending were just as diverse as the many communities of PLP said it has positively impacted over the last five years of national governance. Residents like activist Kendall Colebrook, businessman Arich Kumba, and Robert Grant are convinced that despite the many challenges on Grand Bahama, the PLP message still resonates among many. This was electric. This was like nothing. This was like everything is okay in Grand Bahama. You were, it, it was almost like I was misled. Well, you know what I think about when I come to a, 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 an event like this? We often look at anything is better than what we have. But I think we need to reconsider and look at the things that have been done in Grand Bahama. Simple as the seawall, simple as the bridge, simple as national health insurance, simple as the, the water going to McLean Town, all the clinics. I mean, the university turning into, the college turning into university. I think we need to start looking at things that are happening and we're heading in the right direction. This PLB government has done more than any other administration ever in the history of the Bahamas. And I'm not a PLB. I think the PLB looks solid. Um, we had a good crowd. Um, and I think they're doing the right thing right now by um, coming out to the people full force. We have very good candidates. I hope that the people of Grand Bahama will welcome them in the homes and um, um, listen to what their agenda is. I think that the PLP is the best party for our country moving forward. And as the Prime Minister said, there's a lot of unfinished work to be done. And so, no turning back. A check of the PLP's history will show that the party became a formidable force some five decades ago as the country ushered in majority rule. Fifty years later, persons say the party continues to appeal to the next generation. Did you see the amount of young people out here tonight? I always thought the PLP was a party of old people and I was like, wow, where are these people coming from? And, and they keep coming, they were coming in like it was crazy. And the young people need to play a role because the future is the youth. You can see with our University of the Bahamas and all these new, new stuff coming on online. Uh, they're gonna, it's gonna be a lot of growth. Many are optimistic about the revitalization of Grand Bahamas economy and weighed in on the announcement made by the nation's leader about the pending sale of the hotels on the Lakaya Strip. When he said that um, you know, the hotels on the Strip might be sold, and that, that's a major issue. We lost, we lost a lot of jobs in Grand Bahama um, uh, since the hurricane especially, and that has to come back. Announcement about the opening of the hotel, this sale of the hotel, that was, oh my goodness, thank God for that. Grandmama needed, oh Lord, God smile on us. John Davis Roll, ZNS Network News. Meanwhile, residents on Grand Bahama are reacting to the dissolution of Parliament and the announcement of the May 10th general election. Now many say that they are excited that a date has been set and they are looking forward to exercising their democratic right. It is fine with me. They should come earlier. You know, I'm waiting for this to happen. Too much talks around the place, you know. Well, I anticipated that it would be around May 10th. As a matter of fact, I said to someone once I knew when the house was being dissolved, I said to them, it's going to be within the first two weeks of May. And I realized it had to be after the carnival when, or it was around the time that they would have um, moved the carnival date. I figured that was because of that. 
And so when they put the carnival back, I figured it had to be right after that. Selecting the date is an important process and why it is is because we, we're going through so much in our country today with, the, with all of the talks, with the violence, all the educational talks. It's important to know now that people have a right if they exercise their democratic right and you have registered to vote, now is the time to exercise that power that you have and select the new government and body for your country. The word that comes to mind is relieved, eh? that the decision has been made and an election is impending. Now the register is now closed and those who have not registered are no longer eligible to take part in the upcoming general election. However, there are many registered voters who are still undecided who they will vote for if they decide to vote at all. Now these behaviors are encouraging undecided voters to do their homework, research the facts and vote their conscience. So don't allow persons to, to push their views on you. Know for yourself what it is you want to do and who you want to vote for. What you have to do is you have to look at the issues. You have to look at where you want to see our country and don't believe all the garbage that people are talking because it ain't true. A lot of people are talking out of ignorance and not from a position of knowledge. Silence is not golden. Silence is dangerous. If you don't go out and vote, then you you're abrogating your rights and, and you can't really say that do you have a well you're participating in the democracy of the country if you don't vote you ain't got no voice if you don't register you ain't got no voice you can't say nothing if you don't if you don't go to the poll you don't go to the voting process you ain't got no voice you ain't got none at all well, meanwhile, both major parties, the Free National Movement and the Progressive Liberal Party, halting their campaigns this week. Party Chairman Sidney Colley says over the last year, the party has had a successful run and they plan to up the ante following Holy Week. Meantime, the PLP also set to head into high gear after Holy Week. A massive motorcade and family event is set for the Easter Monday holiday. A mass motorcade will begin at the PLP headquarters in Freeport, ending in West End where a family fun day is expected to be held. Stay with us. There is more news right after this.